right and the second one ipo nam paakradha enna paakrom appadina instruction sequencing la paakrom instruction sequencing you have three operations one is straight line sequencing another one is branching another one is conditional codes okay so so far what we have seen is we have seen straight line sequencing one by one instruction execute pannu okay now we are going to see branching right so we are going to see branching sir what is branching branching and sir right so now we have one we have seen what is this particular expression is about right that is a plus b and storing the information in c right here we have only two numbers right we can directly add these two numbers and save it in this particular location okay say for example you have a long list of instruction long list of numbers right that is for example you have uh, around 10 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right you have 10 numbers like this right 10 and you have to add each and every number to the other number right abbi irundha abbi na what you have to do we have to add we have to give an instruction we have to use add instruction for all the numbers add 1 to or not add to to or not right the information on on store karano right and then idu idu kuda add pannano and then once again it has to store in or not then idu kuda in three idu kuda add pannano four idu kuda add pannano like that one by one it has to execute right and you will have a long list of instruction correct instead of doing that adha mari vandu whole list of add instruction use pannama ore ore add instruction use panni if i can able to loop that instruction right or add instruction in number of times right எத்தனை நம்பர் ஆஃப் டைம்ஸ் தேவே அத்தனை நம்பர் ஆஃப் டைம்ஸ் எக்ஸிக்யூட் பண்ணோம் அப்படினா தட் இஸ் कॉल्ड एज பிரான்ச்சிங் இட் கேன் ஆல்சோ பீ कॉल्ड एज லூப்பிங் ரைட் वी கேன் वी கேன் யூஸ் a program loop ரைட் சோ தட் இட் எக்ஸிக்யூட் இன் தட் டு ஆஸ் many number of times we need it that is called as branching right you can see a loop is a straight line sequence of instruction that can be executed as many times as we need it okay and in purila abina you can understand this particular explanation right you can see here right this is what i said like if i have more than 10 numbers like illa 10 numbers irukku appadina nam enna pannanum appadina move n1 to r not and then add number 2 to r not add number 3 adha mari ethana number irukko adha ellathiy pannanum and then last enna pannanum right idu the number 1 number 2 idu 10 locations enna enna pannanum access pannanum and then ellathiyume vandu paathinga appadina sum la store pannanum correct ah like this you have to perform one by one instruction right இதெல்லாம் நாம என்ன சொல்றோம் ஸ்டேட் லைன் சீக்வென்சிங்னு சொல்றோம் ரைட்டா இந்த மாதிரி இல்லாம ரைட் ஐ அம் गोइंग ஃபார் பிரான்சிங் வாட் இஸ் பிரான்சிங் திஸ் இஸ் कॉल्ड பிரான்சிங் ரைட் ஐ டோன்ட் வாண்ட் டு யூஸ் திஸ் a big list of instruction right i can use only two three instructions with a loop right so now enna pandrom appadina ore ore add instruction da right ore ore add instruction ore ore add instruction but and the add instruction ah ethana number of times na execute pannikalam right until the last number is added correct so you can see here this is the loop right so loop enga start aagum appadina loop indra indra start aagum and it will end it branch right this is branch and this is loop right you can see here loop is nothing but determine the next address adutha instruction ude address enna adha kandupidichi adha vandha enna pandrom r not kuda add pannrom ena nam enna pandrom ella number enna pandra r not kuda add pannite varam correct ah so i got to perform the same instruction here So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find out the next address and I'm going to add it in R not. Okay. So now how is this executed? How is this executed? Listen, right? So for example, if there is ten numbers, right? So n or the value of the ten and so on, right? So that particular value will be initially stored in R one. R one now under the number ten and so on stored. Right? And now I'm clearing the R not. R not is zero again, right? So now the first instruction is it the first instruction it will have the first inf information right and first instruction enna pandrom appdi pathina r not kuda nam save pannu right ah r not kuda save pannu that is determine the next address next address na ipo first address da irukku seriya first address na kandupidichi adha enna pandra r not kuda save pannu right r not la save pannu right and then right what i am going to do is i am going to decrement r1 for example if r1 value penna is 10 then and and one loop mudinja odane it will be decrement at 9 right and again one loop mudinja odane enna avum appadina it will become 8 and it will become 7 like that it will be decrementing okay and if every nadakkum appdi paathinga appadina you have a branch instruction here right this will have a target address you can see here if the loop execute avum nadakku perform the loop 
Like the number of times it has to execute, that should be a condition. Only that condition satisfies, it will go to the loop, right? So now you can see here, the branch is greater than zero. That is, whenever, if the R1 value, you can see it starts with 10, and if it is decremented 9, and again decremented 8, if this R1 value is greater than zero, right? Zero, greater than zero, the loop will be executed. If it is not, right, that is, if it is equal to zero, right, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 1, 0 because that is not greater than 0. So, what happens is whatever information in R0, it will be transferred to sum. So, you can see here, you can see the instructions are added and the last time you can see the instruction is sum. Right? The location is moved. Right? Last time you can see the sum of the sum of the sum of the sum. Same thing like that. Loop mudi na varika, add mudi na varika, loop mudi na varika, all my penna information varika, it is sent to the sum. Okay, so I will explain it very clearly again. So it is move, right? First, what is the initial content, right? How many numbers? 10, right? And the memory location is employed, right? 10 numbers are, like 20 numbers are, that will give it to the R0, R1, okay? And it will clear R0, R0, okay? And first number, right? The first number, what it will do is, first number, it will be sent to R0, okay? And then what happens is the loop, when the loop is now executed, next n address is next n address will go and the address n upon not in parting of dinner and the address information it is sent to the R0. It is given, it is added to the R0, right? That is first instruction and first instruction maria added the instruction. Okay, right? First instruction, n value will be 1. For example, if it is 1, it is added to R0. Okay. Right, and then next to the no, next to two, right, and then our address. Okay, address and then once again here, i, i plus four, i plus eight, like that, the instruction. Yeah. Correct, right, and then it will decrement the r1. First initial r1 energy, 10 will go, right, one loop, what it will become, it will become nine, right. So now you can see here, after decrement, decrement are the nine, now what it will do, it will, it will check this condition, nine is greater than zero, right. So once again, what it will do? We have to go to the loop, right? Once again, it will go to the loop. Once again, what it will Add the value another. First one, one will add one. Add the value another. Two, right? It will add that number. Right? And then three, right? And like that, it goes on, right? This process continues until or unless this becomes zero. If this condition not satisfied, it will move the next instruction. Add the instruction will go to there. As add the instruction is nothing but the final value of the R0 will be saved to the sum. Got it? Right? So this is called as branching okay and the last condition right that I, in instruction sequencing the last technique is condition codes right the processor what it will do is it not only process the information and stores the result okay it will track the result right for various operation it performs it tracks the result and based upon the result what it will do is it will store the information right it will store the information bit information in 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 bits right called as Condition codes. It will be stored in bits. It's called as condition codes. Like right? this condition codes can be accessed in groups. Right? Groups are It can be called as conditional flags in Solana or it can be called as status registers in Solana. Right? So, I repeat it again. The processor, what it will do is it will not only perform the operation and store the result, it will keep track this information. Right? Uh, it will keep track the result, right? And the results are given in a one of the information, you know, it, will, it will store it in a bit information, right? And that is called as condition codes, what is so wrong. And the condition codes are given in a one of the register, a special purpose register, save on your clock, right? It can be accessed in groups, right? So that particular register can be called as conditional flags or status registers, okay? Now, so... What is simply keep tracking the information? Tracking the information in our topic, you can see any condition that you can see. You can see any results that you can see. That conditions are not. And the instruction that you can see in the group, you can see that this particular conditional codes is very, very important. Okay? And you can see this four conditional codes. The N, that is negative. And Z is nothing but zero. And V is nothing but overflow flag. And C is nothing but carry flag. Negative flag, zero flag, overflow flag, and carry flag. Okay? That is... If this flag is set, right, that is, whenever, if you get a value, that is, if the result is negative, right, if you process some information and the result is negative, then it will set this flag to 1, right, 
So, and then the flag on a condition satisfy us now, it will set the particular flag to 1 or it will clear the flag to 0, right? For example, if you now perform a result and if the result is negative, right? Negative sign over there, a bit part of now. What is negative sign, right? While performing the arithmetic operation, right? If the first MSB is 1, right? In BCD, you have seen that, right? 1, not even another, you know, negative sign I represent for now, right? So, if the result is negative, what it will do is it will set this flag 1. If not, it will set to 0, right? And if the result is 0, the result is 0, no, it will set to 0 flag. 0 flag will be set to 1, right? And, and if it is not 0, then it will be clear to clear to 0, right? The result is 0, one is in the flag set to 1, and the flag will be 0, right? And then, if we are performing an arithmetic operation, right? Overflow, no, right? If there is overflow, okay, the, then this particular flag, V flag will be set, right? And when performing arithmetic operation, if there is carry involved, carry use monitoring operation, then this flag will be enabled, right? So using these flags, the results can be tracked by the processor, okay? So today what we have seen is we have seen what is instruction cycle is all about, right? And we have seen what are the various steps in instruction cycle, okay? And very importantly, we have seen what is instruction sequencing, what is straight line sequencing? What is branching? What is conditional codes? Okay. Hope you understand the concepts. Okay. So, in the book club, you have vast information. Okay. But if you understand the concept, you can you can uh, write the program or you can put the diagram and you can explain by yours. Okay. Thank you, students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, you will be useful. Subscribe Passionate Professor and keep learning. Thank you very much.